For this station, you're gonna need your types of lines reference sheet. You're gonna need your plastic bag that everything came in and put your paper inside the plastic bag. You can also use a sheet protector if you happen to have that. Um, and some Play-Doh. If you don't have Play-Doh, I included a recipe on Schoology for you. You guys could make it at home. All right, so we are gonna recreate our lines in Play-Doh. So, first thing, you need to start rolling some snakes or rolling out some lines. So if you roll on the plastic bag, that'll also keep your table clean. All right, so I've got my first, I've got that horizontal line. Now I'm gonna do that vertical line. Curved line, my diagonal line. Okay, trickier one is the spiral. Okay, I actually rolled out two pieces for that, so I can continue with this piece. And you're just putting it right over top, and it's okay if you don't get the whole line covered. This is mostly about another way to explore lines. So now I'm gonna roll out another line between my hands. All right, this one, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna do my bumpy line. I'm gonna pinch each bottom here together. my bumpy line. Okay, now I'm gonna work on my zigzag line here. Okay, next up, wavy line curved on both the top and the bottom. two pieces together to keep going, that's fine. There's my wavy line. Well, next up I've got my dotted line, so I'm gonna roll a bunch of dots. So you roll a little sphere, a sphere between your fingers, and put it down. all the way across the paper. Okay, next one, the dashed line. So I'm gonna just break my pre-rolled line into little pieces. All right, and finally, my castle wall, which is gonna be hard to get sharp edges, but try and follow that castle wall line. And there you have it, all of your lines in Play-Doh. For this station, I want you to find some lines in nature. So I went and found some leaves and you see the veins in this leaf. That's a line. Same thing for these. Um, 
I had some vine that I was able to pick. Make sure you ask first before you pick stuff. Um, the stem on this leaf with all the other little, little, little tiny leaves on them, maple leaves. Um, you could pick up sticks. Those would be lines. So then what you're gonna do, and it doesn't matter where you start, So I'm gonna take one of these vines. You know what, I'm gonna take all the leaves off of it too. Okay. And I'm just gonna let it curl up like it wants to do. It's really, really big, or I can hold it with my finger. All right, I'm gonna put my paper on top of it. And I'm gonna get some of my old broken crayons that either already don't have labels on them or you could take the labels off. Okay. And then what you do is you put them parallel to your paper, so flat on your paper, and rub it over the natural object that you found. See, it's bringing that line out. Yeah, same thing with the leaves. So if you put those leaves vein side up under your paper, it's gonna bring those lines out. The lines truly are everywhere that you look. So I'm gonna try another one. So again, I'm holding my crayon flat against the paper. I'm gonna try a bunch of those leaves. Really bringing those lines out and press real hard. Can go back to my vine if I want to add some more lines in. And keep moving it. some really cool lines with that. If you don't have any leaves to work with, you could take uh, some of the string or some of the yarn, that yellow and orange yarn, which I don't actually have at home, but um, you could take some string from your kit and put it under your paper and same thing. You can create a line rubbing on your paper. And then you could switch where the line is and switch colors too. So two ways to do a line rubbing, look for lines in nature, or use the yarn from your kit. Okay. 